This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. And with me in studio today, I have John Ingram from Cross Country Mortgage, NMLS number 552596. John, I want to talk a little bit about, just look at, let's look big picture a little bit. Yeah. Let's look at the difference between, because people hear these acronyms, FHA, VA, they yeah. hear Fannie Mae, Fred, you know, they hear all sure. of these things. Sure. But what do they really mean in terms of generalities? Like when I go to a lender and I say, hey, I want an FHA loan. Why would I want an FHA loan versus mm-hmm. a conventional mm-hmm. loan? So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about FHA. So strength of FHA, right? This is a, a government-backed mortgage. It's it's in, As its core principle, it's a one-size-fits-all product. Mm-hmm. So the intent is if you meet the minimum criteria for the product, you get all the flexibility of the product. Why would I not want an FHA loan? So key limitations or sort of drawbacks for FHA relate to, I guess, one of the key ones right now is the loan size right. is limited. So mm-hmm. FHA has a maximum loan amount mm-hmm. of 287.5. Okay. The other the other one that I run into quite a bit with with FHA that I think is one of a one of their more recent changes that I think is a drawback is they've changed the mortgage insurance that they put on these loans right. uh, by FHA to be a permanent feature. Let's talk about the next uh, government backed uh, loan, which is VA. Yeah, so VA honestly, overall, I can't really knock the program in general. There's uh, no negatives. Really, it, it's really there's not much. The only negative, negative is you got to be a veteran. Yeah, <laughs> it's honestly the standout best program when you're wanting to do it to do a small down payment. Right. Right. Um, and you happen to be a military service member yep. uh, or former military service member. The only knocks you might give on it is, it, you know, they do want to document everything. They're, they're, you know, they're not overly sort of forgiving when it comes to paperwork. you got right. to give them the paperwork they right. require. Right. But mechanically, there's nothing wrong with that loan overall. The VA is not giving you this money. Right. They are not loaning you this money. Right. It has nothing to do with the VA in that way. The VA is guaranteeing you as a borrower, as a risk for right. that lender. Right. So that lender can, lender can make this loan to you and know that it's going to be safe because the VA is standing behind you. First of all, VA and FHA is only owner-occupied. That is true, yes. Yeah, you can't be an investor and buy with VA or, or with FHA. Like you said, except with the one exception being you could buy a fourplex with an FHA loan. Yeah, and rent out the other units. That right. is correct. That's the intent. It's for your residence. Right. But with conventional, you can do either one. You can be an investor correct. or you can be an owner-occupant. And the, and then, so let's talk about conventional. Tell me, why would I go conventional as opposed to maybe an FHA? What would, what would be so the reason? So conventional loans are really the best representation of your grandparents' loan. So by rule now, you can do a conventional loan on a house that you intend to live in with as little as 3% down, right. which is lower than FHA. Not as right. good as VA, but right. lower than FHA. Right. But the key, the key here with this is conventional loans is all about the subtlety. They're looking at all of your factors in determining whether you're a yes or a no. Where it shines, uh, in contrast to FHA, if you were buying that house and you were doing 10% down, for example, on an FHA loan, they charge you the same cost of mortgage insurance as a percentage mm-hmm. as if you did the minimal down. Whereas a conventional loan um, gives you a reducing cost based upon the increasing size of your down payment. Big picture wise, in general, I would tell you if you are about a 700 credit score or higher, okay, um, conventional will be the long term cheaper loan for you. Okay, if you are below 700, then FHA starts to win, and as you go even lower, uh, it will win by a larger margin. And You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with host Harvey Blankfeld. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.